my name is Lindsay Huey. I am a mom of four girls, former semi-pro athlete, soccer coach, an animal rescuer. So for the last couple of years, I've been soccer coaching, soccer directing. Um, then that mom part of you starts coming out and it's like, oh, you know, maybe I'll coach my kid. You know, no, I'm going to take it to the next level. I want to show them like you can do anything. So after 15 years in retirement, I decided to come back out of retirement and play for the uh, LA Galaxy OC last year. But I've had a, an amazing, you know, athletic career. Um, and then that has really helped to make the professional career just kind of come together. You know, I'm a five-time Hall of Famer, a two-time national champion. And so uh, my diagnosis is actually called a SCAD a spontaneous coronary artery dissection and um, happens a lot to young fit females. Um, so I had no idea what that was obviously until it happened. Life before SCAD was, I think what most American moms lives are like, busy, um, you know, I'm rushing kids to and from practice, taking animals to and from the vet. Like I felt like I had a pretty typical busy life, juggling a ton of, you know, family priorities on top of career. The day was interesting because I generally run from one practice to another. It's always a rush. So that's not like unusual. I grabbed all my stuff and I kept thinking like, whew, it's like I'm having a little bit of trouble breathing, but could be the wind, could be allergies, could be any number of things. For whatever reason, I'm just feeling like I shouldn't be this tired because I make this trip two times a week, every week. So I'm thinking, I wonder if I ate something weird, like it had to have been food. And now I'm starting to sweat and I'm not a sweater. So I'm getting a little alarmed at this point, but I'm still convincing myself that it's related to something that I may have eaten. So <clears throat> at that point, I'm in so much pain and it feels like an elephant sitting on my chest that I just immediately sit down because I'm thinking maybe if I get lower to the ground somehow, it's going to like make me feel better. Because I have such a high tolerance for pain, I knew something was wrong right when it started feeling like the only thing left I could do was start crying, you know. Um, so after that, there was a nurse running the facility and she happened to be a part of our organization and she came over and you know, she started doing her diagnosis. And um, I remember her saying, do you, do you need me to call an ambulance? And I just kept thinking like, I have my two older kids with me and they would be mortified if an ambulance showed up and took me away and they were there. So I'm like, you know, no, it's okay. Um, maybe if I just get down to somebody's car, you guys can drive me to the urgent care. And I really was convinced that it was still something that I had eaten. So when I got to urgent care and they hooked me up to the EKG, I was expecting them to come back and say like, you know, everything's okay. Like just, just take it easy, maybe a little bit of antacid, something like that. Um, but that wasn't the outcome. When I waited for the EKG, they had said that it came back abnormal and I needed to go immediately to the emergency room. After everything that I experienced with the heart attack and how it attributed to my mental health was definitely humbling. Definitely it was humbling. I went from doing everything on my own 24 seven to uh, not being able to engage, you know, physically with the kids or, you know, physically around the house, mentally and emotionally, it was definitely a challenge. It continues to be a challenge even still um, because as I said, you know, I'm used to doing everything all at one time. Now I'm required to pace myself. And every time I don't listen to my body, I pay for it every single time, you know, and at the end of the day, you're a better mom when you're a healthier mom, you know, when you're physically present. That's really what I've come to learn and understand about this whole process, you know, is it's okay. It's okay to not be everything for everyone all of the time.